what if one could impact the growth pattern of a plant? What factors causes plant growth, and what chemicals aid in the growth process? Hello and welcome to MindSync. I am Swati from MindSync. Plant growth regulators, otherwise called plant hormones, are organic compounds, which are either synthesized in laboratories, or produced naturally within the plants. They are used to regulate the growth of plants, and are important measures to ensure agricultural production. MindSync has come up with this video, on plant growth regulators, and their registration procedure. Central Insecticides Board and Registration Committee, CIBNRC, under the Directorate of Plant Protection, Quarantine, and Storage, Department of Agriculture, and Farmers Welfare, was set up by the Ministry of Agriculture, to regulate the import, manufacture, sale, transport, distribution, and use of pesticide, with a view to prevent risks to human beings, and animals, and for other matters connected therewith. The Central Insecticides Board, advises the central government, and state government, on technical matters arising out of the Administration of Insecticides Act. Major functions of the board are, the board advises the central government, on the manufacture of insecticides, specify the uses of the classification, of insecticides on the basis of their toxicity, as well as their being suitable for aerial application, advise tolerance limits, for insecticides residue, and specify the shelf life of insecticides. The Insecticides Act of 1968, and the Insecticides Rules of 1971, regulate the import, registration, manufacturing, sale, transportation, distribution, and use of insecticides, and pesticide in India. Pesticide Management Bill, 2020, has been passed, for regulating the pesticide sector. The new Act will replace the Insecticide Act 1968, once approved. Pesticides are defined in the bill as, any substance, or mixture of substances, including a formulation of chemical, or biological origin. Intended for preventing, destroying, attracting, repelling, mitigating, or controlling any pest in agriculture, industry, pest control operations, public health, storage, or for ordinary use, and includes any substance intended for use as a plant growth regulator, defoliant, desiccant, fruit thinning agent, or sprouting inhibitor, and any substance applied to crops, either before, or after harvest, to protect them from deterioration, during storage, and transport. Plant growth regulators, also called as phytohormones, or plant growth hormones, or plant growth substances. Plant growth regulators are organic compounds, other than nutrients, which in relatively small amounts, could inhibit, promote, or otherwise, alter, or modify physiological processes in plants. They are used to regulate the growth of plants, and are important measures to ensure agricultural production. Plant growth regulators are hormone-based chemicals, used to modify plant growth such as, increasing branching, suppressing shoot growth, increasing return bloom, removing excess fruit, or altering fruit maturity. Plant growth regulators, can be broadly classified into two categories. Plant growth promoters, and plant growth inhibitors. This distinction is based, on the role that they play. Hormones that help in the growth of the plants, are known as plant growth promoters, they promote cell division, cell enlargement, flowering, fruiting, and seed formations. The hormones that restrict, the process of growth, are known as inhibitors, they promote dormancy, and abscission in plants. Auxins, gibberellins, and cytokinins are grouped into plant growth promoters, while abscisic acid, and ethylene are grouped into plant growth inhibitors. Ethylene can be either promoters, or inhibitors. MindSync provides a list of some of the plant growth regulators, registered in India, under the Insecticides Act, 1968, 
such as chlorpyrifum, a plant growth inhibitor, used as an anti-sprouting agent for stalked potatoes under cold storage condition. Ethefin which improves coloration and accelerates uniform ripening of fruits like pineapple, mango, tomato, etc. Paclobutrazole, a plant growth regulators that reduces pruning costs, allows higher density planting and increasing root growth. There are mainly three types of registrations. Regular registration under Section 9, 3. It is original registration after submission of complete scientific data to the satisfaction of the registration committee. Provisional registration under Section 9, 3b. Registration is done for the chemical or molecule which has been introduced for the first time in India. The registration is usually granted for a period of two years. Me too, registration under Section 9, 4, where registration of a molecule has been previously been granted and any other person may apply for registration of the same. The categories are further subdivided into technical import and formulation import, that is import of the technical grade material or formulated product. Technical indigenous manufacture and formulation indigence manufacture, which is the manufacturing of technical grade material or formulated product. Those who want to manufacture or import plant growth regulator must first get a certificate of registration from the registration committee. The registration committee be governed by variables such as necessity, end use, the risk involved, and availability of safer alternatives when registering, in addition to examining its safety and efficacy. Firstly, the manufacturer need to check the product inclusion in the insecticide schedule and based on that, plan the category of registration, that is registration is to be done under Section 9, 3, or 9, 3B, or 9, 4, as per the requirement, an online application for registration shall be made to CIBNRC in Form 1. CIBNRC has developed a web-based application for registration. The application is supposed to automate the entire registration procedure. The data requirement for registration varies with the type of plant growth regulator to be registered the type of material to be registered, the type of formulation, the category of registration, and purpose of registration. Hence, before starting data generation or submitting application for registration, the applicant should ensure that the requirements are being complied correctly for the type to be registered. CIBNRC may direct preliminary scrutiny of the testing facility to establish the authenticity of the data. Generation and submission of chemistry, toxicity, packaging, bioefficacy data as per latest guidelines for different categories of registration. Registration committee, upon satisfaction, shall issue certificate of registration in Form 2 or Form 2 A for provisional registration. The license for manufacture, sale, and stock are dealt with the state government. Approval by concerned state governments and issuance of manufacturing license is required if to be sold and distributed in India. MindSync will assist you in getting the registration of your product. Import registration is done under various sections of Insecticides Act, 1968. Under Section 9, 3, New Registration, this registration is for products or sources which are not registered in India yet. Any first-time registration of a molecule or of a source will be under this category. New registrations can be of formulation import and technical import. Further, import can be of new molecule or new source. The other option is Me Too registration under Section 9 4. This is for product and source which are already registered in India. Each section has different set of data requirements for the registration.
Contact MindSync if you're looking for plant growth regulator product registration. We will be happy to help you. Stay tuned for more such video by MindSync. Thank you.